Thank you, Miss Monica. The podium is yours. I will take my stuff. Thank you very much, Stefan, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. We will start today with a statement, a short statement by the PJ. This morning, the President of the General Assembly, Maria Fernanda Espinosa, strongly condemned an attack in Nairobi, Kenya. She expressed her solidarity with the victims and their families and with the government and the people of Kenya. The PJ says that there is no justification for using terror and violence against the innocent people. She's closely following media reports on this attack. And the president will leave Pakistan for Oman on 21st of January. Mrs. Spinoza, 22nd of January, I should say. Uh, Mrs. Spinoza will stay in Oman until 25th of January at the invitation of the Omani government. The PGA will visit the National Defense College of Oman in the capital Muscat and deliver a lecture on the importance of multilateralism and the role of the General Assembly in the maintenance of international peace and security. The president will also hold several bilateral meetings on multilateralism, the priorities of the current session of the GA, including women and youth empowerment, as well as cooperation between Oman and the United Nations. The PGA will visit the Omani Women Association and meet the Oman's Foreign Affairs Minister, His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah. The PGA's delegation includes her chef de cabinet, a senior advisor, a media advisor, and her personal assistant. Mrs. Spinoza will return to New York on Saturday, 26th of January. And the President of the General Assembly, as we flagged yesterday, uh, will brief member states this afternoon on her priorities for this year of 2019. The meeting will take place at the Trusteeship Council at 3 p.m. Mrs. Spinoza will open the floor for a conversation with member states and also to listen to their contributions. And this morning, she attended the handover ceremony of G77 plus China. After the meeting, she will attend a lunch with the G77 plus China representatives. And at 3 p.m., as we said, she will brief member states. And tomorrow at 1 p.m., in front of the PJ's office, she will have a stakeout. She will make some opening remarks for about five minutes and then dedicate the remaining time to your questions from 1 to 2 p.m. We would like to invite all of you for this interaction before the PJ leaves for Pakistan. And uh, we will not have the briefing here. So Steph will have his briefing and afterwards at 1 p.m. we all will be there. Uh, so I won't come here tomorrow. We'll have our stakeout with the PJ and I invite all of you. Okay, uh, I think I will start with uh, Mr. Abadi and then Mario, and then I go to you. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Abadi. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you the same question I asked the uh, spokesperson. How did uh, the president of the General Assembly receive the news that Laurent Bacabo of the Ivory Coast has been acquitted by the ICC? The president is, um, uh, has been briefed about it. Of course, you know, we, uh, she receives her uh, daily briefing. Uh, she, the, the, I think the answer is um, about the same. This is an independent court, and uh, she respects the decision uh, of the court, and it's completely independent from the United Nations, as we know. And I hope I helped to clarify the question the other day as I left you the, the message. Yeah, all clear. Thank you, Mr. Abadi. I go to Mario. Go ahead. Thank you. In her meeting with President Abbas, did they discuss yesterday the issue of uh, full membership for the state of Palestine in the GA, or did the Palestinians hand any sort of document or proposal to the PGA? The meeting lasted about an hour yesterday with the PGA, and uh, it was basically about uh, the uh, presidency now uh, on the uh, uh, the Palestinians uh, of the G77, there was no uh, discussion about any other issues, I can tell you. But thank you. Go ahead. Thanks, Monica. I have mm -hmm. follow up. You said they did not discuss the issue of Palestine's full membership to the UN, but does the PGA have a position on that? 
Any uh, decision uh, of the member states uh, concerning, as you know, uh, membership of the United Nations is a decision, a decision actually uh, by member states. So it's not up to the PGA to have any position. Uh, the decision is solely uh, done by member states, and uh, it's driven by member states and uh, decided by member states. So uh, she, um, that's what I have to say on that. She has nothing to say. Yes, Evelyn, go ahead. Okay, Carla. I yes, have does not uh, membership in the UN have to go through the Secure, Security Council first? And in that case, it's dead for the for the Palestinians. This is absolutely correct. Correct. And uh, when I say member states, of course, it uh, goes exactly as the process you say. But again, in the Security Council, there are member states as well. Okay, uh, Carla, yeah. and then Mr. Abadi again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Monica. Mm -hmm. um, did the PGA have any comment upon the horrific murder of a young woman in India who's, they say her father or her brothers beheaded her and hacked off an arm uh, in reprisal for her having attended a birthday party of her boyfriend. I think the girl was 15 or 16 years old. And this is not unusual. I mean, this kind of thing happens with a great deal of frequency. Has she made any comment about that? Um, I don't have any um, particular um, uh, statement or, or note on this uh, issue that you uh, are mentioning right now. But we can say that uh, any act of violence uh, is absolutely uh, condemned by the PGA. Uh, this is not acceptable. And uh, in this case, I mean, we cannot uh, uh, say anything in case uh, an, an investigation is, is in place. But uh, if it's uh, even uh, in the case of uh, gender uh, violence, uh, the PJ is very clear that it show there is no space, no space at all, uh, for any gender violence uh, related crime or any violence of any kind. Uh, that's uh, what I can tell you. Uh, Mr. Abadi, asked again for the your. Thank you, Monica. For the microphone. Oh. Yeah. What does the, C, the, P, uh, the president of the assembly think of the role of the group of 77 at the UN? Oh, I think uh, she uh, has uh, said publicly that um, uh, she uh, is uh, um, happy to work with uh, the G77. Uh, it's a, a very important group. Uh, I think uh, on her tweet uh, today uh, or yesterday, she uh, issued a tweet when she herself uh, uh, came as a candidate for the General Assembly and uh, had an interaction with the G77. Uh, as uh, any member state is a, an important uh, a group uh, that uh, she works with. And she said uh, after the meeting yesterday with uh, President Abbas that she's looking forward to a, a strong cooperation uh, with the G77, of course, uh, for the uh, member states as well. Yes. So uh, is that all? And I will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. there. And then we resume our interaction here on Thursday. Correct, yes. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely afternoon, everybody. Thanks.